Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a chit chat get ready with me using products that I have not used in a while. I was looking through my makeup drawer and I found a lot of makeup that I have not used and I wanted to incorporate that in this tutorial. None of the products that I'm using today have expired or anything like that. Throughout this video, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks to how you can tell that your makeup has gone bad and and when you need to throw it away and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it I'm going to take my L'Oreal brow stylist designer pencil in dark brunette I bought this a few months ago and I haven't used it in a while and Tati talked about this product and she said it was really good and she really liked it next I'm going to use my favorite primer of all time. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I have like a really old primer on hand so I can rely on it to give me the glow that I want. Now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And the way you can tell with primers if they go bad is if they smell bad. Now I'm going to blend that in with my Morphe G39 Duo Fiber Brush. For foundation today, I'm using my Revlon Colorstay Foundation in the shade Nude. I used to use this foundation all the time in my videos, and if you go back to my older videos from last year, well, I didn't really say anything on the day, but <laughs> August 4th was my one year anniversary of being on YouTube. So I just celebrated that and um, yeah, it's been quite the journey. I mean, I, I mean, I have 22 subscribers on this channel. I mean, my first upload was my July favorites video and that video was a mess. So now I'm going to apply the Revlon Color Stay Foundation on my Sigma F80 brush. This is a Kabuki brush. It's one of my favorite ones. Foundation. Going in circular motions. And this foundation is awesome because it lasts all day long and it does not move. And it's full coverage. This is the normal to dry formula. Now I'm going to blend that in with my beauty blender. A little bit goes a really long way with this foundation. Now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild highlighting and concealing pen in Ivory Into You and put that where I would like to highlight. And I'm also going to take my Born This Way concealer from Too Faced and put that underneath the eyes. And I'm in the shade Fair. I know this isn't an old product, but it's my favorite concealer at the moment next to Tarte. I haven't really been using the Too Faced one lately because I've been loving the Tarte one so much, but I gotta take a break from the Tarte one. And now I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to take my Morphe concealer in the shade Oats and just to counteract a little bit of that lightness that I have. Now I'm going to set my under eye area using my Cody Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage. I haven't, I don't have an old translucent loose powder. This is the only one that I have. So, and this is the only stuff that sets down my concealer. And I'm using my Real Techniques sponge to set that down. Now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in light and set the rest of my face. I don't really have a lot of old powders, so I'm just using my... Now I'm going to take the Banana Shade from the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee and wipe away the Airspun Powder. I'm using my E48 brush from Morphe. Five years later, she has now opened 
the contour kit. For eyeshadow primer, I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. And I'm using my N224 brush from Morphe to blend that out. I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish again, and I'm going to set down my eyeshadow primer. Highlighter, blush, bronzer, and eyeshadows. So it's an all-in-one product, basically, and I really like that about this product. And I'm going to take my M518 brush from Morphe, and I'm going to take that taupe shade right here, that like bronzer shade, and put that in the crease. Sorry for that. Alright, now I'm going to take the Milani Everyday Eyes Palette. I'm going to take, I'm going to take my E13 brush from Morphe, and I'm going to take that, that taupe shade right there. I'm going to place that on the inner crease to give it some more warmth. I'm just going to take my Makeup Geek to Find crease brush. I'm going to take that red shade and put that on the um, that red shade and put that on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take my E18 brush from Morphe and I'm going to go back to the Tarte palette, the Rainforest After Dark palette, and take that brown shade, that really dark one, and put that on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take a clean blending brush from Sigma Beauty. This is the Tapered Blending E35 brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to take my M210 from Morphe and I'm going to take this gold shade down here and put that on the lid. I'm going to wet my brush with some L'Oreal Infallible setting spray. Had a little bit of an inspiration, so I'm going to take my E36 and put that purple, little purple right here. I'm going to blend that out with my E27. For bronzer, I'm going to take my E3 brush from Morphe and I'm going to take this bronzer right here and this bronzer and put it all over the perimeter of my face. Now I'm going to contour with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and that shade right there, a toffee color on my, my M530 from Morphe. Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil from Wet n Wild, M441 and from Morphe and bring down the nose contour a little bit since it's a little bit of a warm undertone for me. I'm going to take blush from the Tarte palette. For inner corner highlight, I am using the Scandal Eyes Pencil from Rimmel. This is in the shade Bulletproof Beige. For the lower lash line, I am using this this color this nice brown taupe color and this red color and i'm also going to take some of that purple that we used before with my m432 from morphe and just put that on the outer corner to finish off the brows i'm using the l'oreal stylist brow plumber in light medium I'm going to apply winged liner now using my NYC liquid liner. I'm using the Scandal Eyes Pencil by Rimmel in the shade Nude. And then for the outer third of my eye, I'm using the Rimmel, Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in Black is Black. The Wet n Wild Hollywood Boulevard highlighter. This is this was limited edition. They've renamed this highlighter to Boozy Brunch, so you guys can still get it, but it's just named a different thing. For mascara today, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is a brand new tube that I've. Just the way to tell when your mascara has gone bad is to smell your mascara, and if it smells like fish, then it's bad. But if it doesn't smell like fish, then it's good. 
For the lower lashes, I am using the Buxom Waterproof Lash Mascara. This is the other lower lash mascara I had. I had to throw away, so this is the only one that I've been using for my lower lashes. It doesn't flake like some mascaras do. It's so good. Now I'm going to set all that down with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. For lipstick today, I'm using a lipstick that I have used a lot and I forgot that I had it in my makeup collection. I used to use this one all the time. This is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Daringly Nude. It's a very nice nude. It's not concealer nude at all. It's a really nice peachy nude. For gloss, I am going to use the Gerard Cosmetics and Shanix So Lip Gloss in Candy Kiss. And for a little bit more shine, I'm going to put the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Samantha. And this is the final look. I will zoom you in closer so you guys can see. this video give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below if you would like to see more videos of me going through my makeup and pulling out old products that I haven't used in a while and doing a tutorial with them let me know is that something you would like to see more often on this channel and yeah subscribe if you have not already I upload twice a week on this channel usually towards the beginning of the week and end of the week all of my social media links are over here at, as always don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Those are all some sort of version of Victoria Claire, except for my Snapchat, which is We the Claire X3. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely day, evening, wherever you guys are in the world. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Oh, that's pretty. Do you see that, guys? That is pretty. That is like the sunset. Open it. Come on. Open sesame. Open sesame. The 27 brush. I'm going to take Mama Bird. It doesn't have a scent, so that's good. I don't like scented foundation.